up everybody we just got here to st louis we're gonna try and do some trout fishing right now and right when we pulled up at a spot i don't know if you guys can see this brooder right here literally just swim in the bank right here try and go for that guy try my fly rod real quick i gotta tie it up so it's gonna be a while i'm gonna try and get that one right now let me tie up real quick and then we'll be back at it all right, we're all set up. Got the fly right here. Got that little orange head again with a black body. It's got some little like, I'd say some little like greenish little uh, flashers inside of it. Got that little indicator right there. I really like using it, especially if I'm gonna be fishing a little lower than normal. I also have my ultralight set up. It's got my float. Let me get it real quick. It's got the little float that I like to use right here. Super cheap little bobber. And I got my trout magnet hook right there. Got my millworms. We're gonna set that up, we're gonna get going. Hopefully we can find that one that was cruising the bank right here and we can get into it. Stay tuned guys. Man, this weather changed so much. It was literally just pouring down when we got here. Like, it was insane. I did not think we were gonna come in anytime soon. We we're kind of just waiting for that little shower to go by and it did literally 10 minutes later, it was gone and now it's, just sunny just nice day i think it's gonna be good i think we're gonna catch some fish today we don't have very much time we literally have i would say maybe about two and a half three hours to fish so not a really big window to catch a lot of fish but we'll try and do what we can with what we have and hopefully we get in some fish all right well I think I'm going to be moving towards the back right now. I'm going to slowly work my way back over there and see. I'm going to keep running this bank. I'm going to give it a couple casts here and there, but I think mainly I'm just going to be trying to hunt down those brooders, see if I could spot them or not. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to see a couple going towards the back. So wish me luck and let's get the move on. Well. Looks like the, the weather took a little turn right now. Don't know how much longer it's gonna be like this, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna call it quits right here. Hopefully uh, try to do a couple more casts here and there, but I'm pretty sure Israel's gonna wanna head out, especially if it's like this. I can't believe it. Ask and you shall receive. There we go. Looks like he's got me up on that. There we go. <laughs> oh my God. That was hilarious. I literally just asked for one. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Did not think we were going to get one. Shoot, that's freaking awesome. Oh man, Ooh, that little grinder here, oh man, he is fighting. That is a nice one too. Oh man, come on, come on. That is a really, really nice one. Let's see if, uh, there's not really any good spots. Come on, where are you going? Get out from underneath that tree. <laughs> Let's see if I can land him over here. Be a little better spot. Hopefully this fish is ready to go. Hopefully we don't lose it. That is a nice fish. Come on. All right, there we go. This fish had some fight. 
in it. Oh, that is a nice, healthy, big one, man. Jeez. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is freaking awesome. Let's try to let this girl go. Looks like she's actually got another hook in her. I think I'm going to try and get that out real fast. Look at that. It's a puny little hook, too. Tiny little guy. <laughs> got any other hooks in you? That is a nice freaking trout right there. Let's let this big girl go right over here. Heck yeah, freaking awesome trout, man. <laughs> it's gone. Just like that. Freaking awesome. Well, I'm shooting over here where Israel's at. He literally just slammed into a bass right now. I was just getting ready to take off from where I was at just so I could get over there and see if he was getting anything or even if we could try and just fish for some more bass or bluegills right now just to have some fun just throw some extra little species in there so I'm gonna get over there real quick and see what's up hopefully I can see that bass before he tosses it back oops my bad dude bad dang is that the lure that you just got yeah dude I just unboxed it you see it this little guy right here Oh my gosh, dude. That's, That's what I used for. Freaking right awesome, there. dude. Look at that toad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. Slow retrieving or what? Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude. Let this guy go real quick. Oh. Dude. Oh, no, no. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> what the heck, bro? Oh my, God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro. Dude. Of course, I did not bring any of my freaking square bills, dude. No oh my way. gosh, bro. All right, guys, it was a grind today. Israel ended up catching into two bass uh, at the end of the video, so pretty crazy. I was actually shocked to see him catching the bass. He is separated uh, a little bit um, earlier when I was uh, trying to get some trout. I kept going for the trout, uh, ended up getting one, especially uh one using this fly right here i didn't get anything on the millworm which i was actually really shocked i threw a couple times with the millworm and literally nothing so this right here too is one of the lures that israel was using right here it's from six cents um he really loves that lure uh it was actually really shocking he actually unboxed it yesterday um you guys can actually check that out if you guys go and look at his channel uh israel fishing pretty cool guy always fish with him freaking can't believe he got that fish on this right here i tried today i didn't have any square bills or even any uh, uh chat uh, what do you call it uh what are those crank baits didn't have none of those so i was trying to use a little jerk bait literally nothing on that so we're gonna come out tomorrow hopefully do another grind video hopefully we can get in some bass tomorrow and we'll see what happens until then guys tight lines mm -hmm.